Good day fine people, I hope you are well. My name is Nick and on the ZX Spectrum this time round we've got a shooter called Crossfire published by Atlantis Software in 1989. As I put my name in it also came out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. Now it's quite a basic premise this, um, you are a police officer in the town of Chicago which has been overrun by gangsters, oh no, which is uh, Al Capone and Legs Diamond and I, I don't know the second one, but as the bravest police around you must rid the mob of all the gangsters and bring law and order back to the good town of Chicago so we'll see how we do but it's basically with the joystick you can use keyboard as well if you want to but position the cursor no light gun uh, thing here and shoot the uh, baddies now if you shoot the innocent people um, that will go against you so I have had a practice go on this to see who are the innocent people and who are the bad guys that guy with the hat on he is a bad guy and anyone with a gun is a bad guy and an innocent person that just looks through the window for some reason are, are innocent right don't shoot them this guy gun shoot them so why are these innocent people keep looking through the window they must be crazy right level one level one is just four windows if we survive long enough uh, then gets more windows and more complicated and people hiding behind bins and stuff here we go now did you have this one back in the day let me know is a little bit awkward on the joystick with the colour scheme sometimes you lose sight of where the target is but we've done stage one already and that's uh, best of my wildest dreams in my practice go I did not get off level two so that's probably where we are hooray right here we go so people are going to park behind this fence I didn't get off this level before two innocents there if you don't shoot the gangsters in time they will pull their gun and shoot you if two shoot at the same time then that's pretty tricky but uh, is this Chicago it doesn't look much like Chicago have they got magenta fences and red brickwork houses it looks like somewhere in England but anyway apart from the magenta picket fence right here we go see the times ticking down the middle that might be how long we need to survive if you uh, have a perfect round if you shoot all the bad guys and none of the uh, innocent people you will get a bonus score I think I think we got shot then didn't we right so another go at level two I do know a cheat for infinite lives but we won't put that on I just try and go as far as I possibly can hopefully Chicago isn't as crime ridden as this you see that lamppost there very very short lamppost looks like a lamppost you would see in the UK rather than Chicago but what do I know I've never been to Chicago yeah. And all that jazz. Du, 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 du. That's that's the show Chicago. Nothing to do with um this game. Right, how am I doing? I'm not too I can't have too many more to shoot. That's taken him out. Bib. This is what gunfire gunfire sounds like in Chicago. I tried to mix the word fire with power then, that wasn't successful. Is that it? Three seconds. Oh, I just shot an innocent person. Yay! Well, that's that's better than I've ever done ever before on my second ever go. Great, so level three. Let's see what this has. It should be extra complicated. I'm not sure how many levels this one has got. Mm. If you completed this back in the day, let me know. Oh man, come on. They're, they're all turning up now. They're both innocent. They're, that boat's got a gun. Shoot. So I think you've seen, haven't you, who's the bad guys and who's the good guy. And the, the town mayor has just shot me. Or that guy with a gangster hat on. Curses! I need a bazooka. It might be it might be safe to nuke the um, the building from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. But there'll be a bit of collateral damage then. Yeah, these red brick um, houses in Chicago. Uh, they are, I don't think there's any, is there? If there is, then um, well, correct me. Right, take that guy out. Take that guy out. We're going to do this thing. We're going to get onto the fabled stage four. That's him done. 32 seconds left, take him out, don't let them draw a gun. The difficult bit is if two shoot at the same time as I said. What oh, I've been shot by that guy on the left. Boo! I only had 26 seconds left to retirement as well. Crossfire. You might not have heard of this one. Other shooters are um, a bit like where you aim and fire, or Operation Wolf and Operation Thunderbolt. I qu this game isn't up to much, but I quite like it for some reason. Why is that? Um, there's a bit of addictiveness to it. It's quite basic and simple and I've lost all my lives here. Why isn't it showing my name? 
Hmm. Okay. Hi. There's a cop there in a gravestone that looks a bit like a bit of polystyrene. Back to Chicago. Well, we will have another go, but I won't put the cheat on. Um, see if I can get to stage uh, four, maybe. That might be pushing it. Atlantis Software. It says, it says Pampion Software there. Uh, must be something to do with Atlantis. But anyway, that it's all sunk to me. So we know this. This basic building, here we go, with the lamppost. Uh, it's very, very short on the right. Bub. The door's open, so I don't know why we can't send Robocop in to save the day, but we're doing it here. I'm probably just stood in the street, am I? Right, you can save it. How many people are in this building? You're okay, you're okay. If you're in a hostage negotiation, don't go near the window. Uh, unless, of course, you are the um, actual person um, staging the hostage crisis, then go near the window for a long time. Bib, bib, bib. Right, take you out. I think I've got stage one covered. Six seconds. No one's going to shoot at me. Only one person seems to fire at a time here on stage one, which is good. Gives you a chance to get your eye in. Boop. So there's not much to this game. It is quite straightforward, but uh, it's not a classic by any means, but I do like it. I do like the presentation. I do like the sound. I can see why some people might hate it, because uh, as I say, positioning the crosshairs isn't the easiest in the world. And seeing these guys up against the fence with spectrum graphics and colour clash is a bit, little bit awkward to see who's who. But as long as you don't shoot too many innocents, um, you're okay. Preferably none, or else there's going to be a police inquiry. Is he, is he one? Mm, I don't know. Shoot first, ask questions later, I think. So if you're standing by a magenta fence, don't keep getting up, looking over it and ducking down again, because you might be in the middle of some sort of shootout. Bib. Bib. Odd looking cloud there. Uh, very suspicious. Looks like a dog. You see what I mean? You see the dog's head and the snout. But anyway, concentrate, Nick. Let's get off stage two again to prove it was not a fluke. And I might join the police force based on this. As long as any hostage negotiation is over one screen. Good. We've done it again. Stage three. Hooray! Did 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 Level 3. No music in this, is there? I like between the stages, if there'd been a bit of music in between, like 18, like did 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 Level 3. That would have made it a bit better, but no, you, you just go on and on until you die. The only sound really is the shooting and that bit when it totals up your score. Bib. Oh, there's a lot of them here. Right, you can, you can survive. You can go. I don't think I'm going to get off stage 3. There's too many windows. There's about six different windows they can jump out of. Unless anyone leans out one of those smaller ones at the end. Right. Uh, you notice if I do shoot any innocent people, the score on the top right will jump down a bit. No! Position it! Oh, that's close. It was just about to shoot me, I'm sure. Okay. Come on, stage four. Must be close to stage four. Stage four? Uh, stage five, I mean. Or stage four? I've lost count. It must be stage four next. Yeah, stage four. Yeah, level four. Brilliant. Excellent. Oh, man. Now this... Oh, man. Now this looked like chaos. Oh, I'm not going to be able to see any of these people. There's people on balconies now. There's people behind bins. There's people outside doorways. What's the furthest you got on this? I'd love to see how this what this looks like on the Commodore 64. Add that to the list, Nick. Okay, I will. But screaming out for a light gun, as I said. Chicago is a tough place. I don't know why there's just me here shooting them. A two-player version would have been great. Um, definitely, if it's in real life, I've got shot. If it's in real life, you definitely need a whole bunch of you trying to take these uh, gangsters out. Right, running out of lives here slowly. I've only got to survive about a minute, but even that seems like a long time. Oh, look at that. The gun lit up and I was doomed. Right, two lives left, as that say, on the top left. Bib. Him. Bloke in the middle. Come on, shoot. Good. Right, come on, Nicky. 50 seconds. Uh, I've got a great score, though. Like 140,000. Talking and commentating on the same time. Oh, they're all innocent people. That was nice. Whether this is random... Yeah, see, look, they've all popped up. I can't take three out at the same time. That's ridiculous. I'd have to be Clint Eastwood in a fistful of dollars to take out three at the same time. And if Clint Eastwood had to use a 
had to use a joystick to shoot three people, it would not have happened. Can you imagine that? In the old west, a target going on and, and Clint East was standing there with a joystick. It wouldn't have happened. Dee 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 dee. I don't think he's nice, you laughing. Dee dee dee. That was my poor Clint Eastwood impression, which was awful. Let's move on. Should have gone for a Robocop impression instead, and I'm dead again. Deader than a can of spam. Well, I hope you like looking at that game. I quite liked it, but really I shouldn't have done. Um, it was tempting a basic premise, and I think it did it okay. So uh, thank you for watching that one. That was Crossfire on the ZX Spectrum, published by Atlantis Software in 1989. Got any thoughts or comments about this one? Then please put those below, or anything retro. Huge thanks to everyone that subscribed to the channel. We've got a nice friendly bunch here, and your cool comments do help me going, so thank you. It's in demo mode at the moment. This isn't me. If you want to help the channel a bit more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every bit really does help. Cool, he's doing a bit good here, isn't he? Anyway, he's just showing off. Till next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.